Welcome to Hungary. It's a pretty slow track, it's very short, but it's very hot. And therefore the Hungarian Grand Prix is one of the most challenging ones in the whole, whole season. Uh, regarding the track, turn one, uh, obviously a, a real good place to overtake. The rest of the track is quite difficult because you have the corners following each other uh, with very short distance in between. So turn one is the, the prime over, over, uh, overtaking spot, you also have DRS. So if you want to do something that is into turn one, big stop. Uh, difficult to find the, the right lines. There's a couple ones that uh, prove to be right every year, so uh, you have to play around a little bit. Turn six, uh, really difficult as it's very fast, quite blind because it climbs up the hill and uh, difficult to see where it's going, where, where, you go, where you're going to, to get out and where you come out with the car. But uh, since they have resurfaced the track, it's calmed down before it used to be very, very bumpy, but still it's a very challenging corner. Turn 13 uh, is one, uh, and turn 13 and 14, actually the last two corners, quite tricky. Uh, they are medium speed and they are very, very long duration, so you have to keep turning, turning, turning. They are very, very crucial on the setup, very, diffi uh, very difficult to find the right balance of the car, but if you do, then you master those two corners and you can make up a lot of time.